Big news, USI Tech got a cease and desist order. I've not talked about USI Tech too much on my uh, channel, mainly because there's no reason to. I mean, this isn't something that I was a part of for various reasons. Um, I hate to see other pe this happen to other people. There's a lot of people that um, basically are having their lives majorly disrupted because of this. And there's a few reasons for that. One being they've not diversified in this space a whole lot. Listen, if you saw my channel a while back, you know that I talked about... Um, I talked about my predictions for 2018 and the Bitcoin price, and I called some heat for saying that I thought it could go as low as $500, and I also think it can go as high as $50,000. This is an incredible space, so much technology, so much excitement, so much enthusiasm. Um, however, it's very important that if you haven't done so, you need to go watch this video, Money as Debt. Money as Debt. Just go to YouTube, search Money as Debt. It's one of the first ones that will come up. Money as debt one. There's also money as debt two, but just watch money as debt one. It's a 46 minute video. If you have kids that you want to be prepared for the future and that they are at least of middle school age, I would encourage you to have them watch this as well. It's super easy to understand. It's an incredible documentary. It's super easy to follow. If you are going to be investing in this space at all, at all, one penny to purchase cryptocurrency of any kind, you better watch this video. You need to know about this. This is important. This is why Satoshi Nakamoto, who developed Bitcoin, shared the belief systems that are in this video to a great extent. He discussed it in the white paper, the very first page of the white paper uh, related to Bitcoin. It's basically a bit of a manifesto on the economy um, and decisions based off the economy. And it's extremely important before you invest in cryptocurrency, that you, before you even try to research exactly what it is, that you re-watch this video. And if you don't agree with what's in this video, you really probably should stay out of the space because it's going to basically increase your risk even further. Um, once you do that, then of course you need to research Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? What is a basic cryptocurrency? What is basic blockchain? Um, and then a lot of things will start to make sense to you. Uh, US Tech basically has pulled out of the US market. The reason being is because, well, I don't know exactly why they're pulling out of the US market. They're pulling out of the North America market. Uh, this uh, Texas Securities Board basically sent them a, an emergency cease and desist a couple weeks ago. Um, that jurisdiction has to only do with Texas. It should not affect the rest of North America. It doesn't mean that there could not be something you know, more substantial coming down or that other states wouldn't follow suit, but at this point it was only Texas. There were several provinces in Canada that also filed similar paperwork, or at least the governments did. And USI Tech today, the news is According to one of my friends, um, when he logged into his account, he saw a letter that basically said they're pulling out of the U.S. market. Um, I'm not certain if people are going to get their money back. I don't. I mean, hopefully they do. Otherwise, it will definitely appear to be have been a Ponzi scheme of some sort. Um, hopefully, they get their money back. However, with that being said, yesterday, BitConnect also got a Texas State Securities Board cease and desist letter. Uh, there's a lot of people online saying, oh, BitConnect is fine. This isn't even the right address. BitConnect doesn't exist as a formal company on paper um, any longer. It, it's really, you know, a decentralized, basically, platform and blah, 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 blah. Um, that's fine. I'm good with all that. I'm not going anywhere. I will continue to use BitConnect. When I logged in today, by the way, they asked me, uh, they, they, BitConnect as a platform is being very... Um, Proactive, you could say. Uh, they basically had me select what state in the U.S. I was in. And then they basically said, um, if you're in the state of Texas, you cannot invest any more money into the platform. You can continue to take out withdrawals, um, which was good. I mean, I would think if they were Ponzi scheme starving for money, as people like to say, I would think, I would think, I don't, I'm not going to swear to this, but I would think that they would, um, they would not, um, not say that hey we'll continue to pay you out but you can't put any more money in kind of thing so you know we'll see what the future holds I believe in diversifying a little bit in this space though I mean I'm in Genesis mining I've talked about going into master nodes etc but what I bothered me the most about this cease and desist wasn't anything related to BitConnect per se um, I hated to see the, the re regulations but I'm not going to read all this to you but if you go through it they hit the lending program um, they hit, they consider purchasing investments, they come down further and offer investments for sale, they hit the staking program, um, they talk about the ICO, um, and all this is 
kind of scary because basically they're saying, hey, this is all a form of security, and therefore, since all these things are securities, they can't be solicited for sales, and therefore they can't be bought by citizens that are te Texas citizens. The reason that bothers me is not about BitConnect. It's about the overregulation in the entire industry. By that argument in the state of Texas, then it's very possible that buying hashing power could be considered an investment. Master nodes, owning a master node could be considered an investment. Um, and you need to understand what a master node is, by the way. Hashing power by, for Genesis is proof of work. And a proof of work is a requirement to define an expensive computer calculation, also called mining. This is what Genesis Mining does. Um, a reward is given to the first miner who solves each block's problem. That's how you earn money. By the way, is, is get, the reward is given to the first miner, but most miners, including Genesis, are part of a mining pool where when one of the winners of the pool, one of the miners of the pool gets a reward, it's split up among the uh, other members of the pool. That's why you get consistent income from Genesis, basically, for your hashing power. Network miners compete to be the first to find a solution for the mathematical problem. Okay, this is what Genesis does. Master nodes like this are proof of stake. Proof of stake, like Ethereum is a coin that's proof of stake. Dash is a coin that Ethereum is going to proof of stake. Dash is proof of stake. There's pros and cons to each kind of algorithm set up. Proof of stake is basically where the creator of a new block is chosen in a deterministic way, depending on its wealth, also defined as its stake. The more stake you have, the more reward you get. The proof of stake system, there's no block reward, so the miners take the transaction fees. Proof of stake currencies can cost several it can currencies can be several thousand times more cost effective. That's one of the best benefits of proof of stake. This also helps support a currency price and prevents it from being as volatile, at least in theory, because in order to own enough to get stake rewards, you have to actually own the currency. So for example, typically it's through a master, no master node. There are coins where you don't actually have, a, have to have a master node. As long as you hold that currency, you get what's called stake rewards. Um, but master nodes basically are, these are all coins that have master nodes and basically you can download a specific wallet for them. I have a, a friend of mine who has a Neutron master node, by the way. That's 70%, that's 70% per year. That he gets for um, so 70% of basically $12,000 is what he gets per year per master node of this particular neutron. And the way it works is you hold 25,000 neutrons valued at 49 cents, which will cost you about $12,000. You just hold it in a specific type of secure wallet uh, on your computer essentially and then you'll earn periodic rewards for holding it up to about 70 percent per year this is based off the current price by the way and the current number of master nodes the more master nodes are the lower the percentage of payout is um, the, the percentage of payout is based off of the current dollar value of the coin but you it's the lower amount of coin you get and depending on that coin's value has to directly relate to the percentage. So right now the coin's valued at 49 cents. If all of a sudden it went up to about a dollar, then this would not be 70%, it would be 140%. So there's a lot of interesting things about holding masternodes. Uh, one is you're earning additional cryptocurrency just for having it. You can hold it indefinitely if you believe the price is going to go up, or you can sell it all just to earn the rewards or you can do a combination of both you can sell part of it keep part of it this is all fascinating this is an area that I would like to invest in down the road there's a little bit of technical expert expertise required so that's why not everybody you know master nodes isn't for everyone however the rewards can be great I'll just give you an example these are how much it costs to set up these master nodes these are the returns annually for these master nodes so right here, Madcoin, for $1,400, you can get about 142% a year. Scorecoin, you'd have to research these to see if there are actually any good projects behind them, or is it just you know something crazy? This one is 227% per year. By the way, just because the return is high doesn't mean it's a bad project. It might just mean that it's early. And by the way, just because a, a master node starts out cheap, remember it's cheap because the coins are currently cheap. You can buy a master node, it can be cheap. 
and the price can go up and you can double triple quadruple your money if the price of the coin goes up so and just to show you the kind of rewards you can potentially earn this is on the low side by the way pivx is in you know top 10 top 20 let's see where pivx is pivx is a masternode coin it's one of the bigger ones out there um, I'm not seeing it right now it's even lower Let's see. Where's Pivx? It's valued about ten dollars per coin. I'm running this uh, record, screen recording software, so it's not going to come up. But it's a it's a sizable market cap. I don't know what it's numbered at on the market cap, but look at Pivx. Five hundred and seventy three million dollar market cap. So it's a big market cap. Um, there's also other ones like. Let's see if we can go back. It's going to freeze up on me. Dash is in the top 10 or top 15 on the market cap. That's a master no coin. Let's see if we see it. There it is, Dash. By the way, you see this right here? This is what it costs to get a Dash master node today. $1.1 million, $1 million. There's a guy online on the internet, um, Jerry Banfield, I believe his name is. He purchased a Dash master node when it was $10,000. Just last year or the year before. I think it was last year, early. He bought it when it was ten thousand um, dollars. However, not only is it not only is it a million dollars, but it at a, of a million dollars, it earns nineteen percent a year right now based off of the current price of Dash. So master nodes can be very fascinating. The problem is, according to this, things like master nodes they don't like. Now people are going to say, oh yeah, you know people who don't like BitConnect, oh yeah, but they're just haters of you know that's just only because BitConnect's bad. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true at all. They have, yeah. So this is what makes me concerned about this. It's not that it potentially targets BitConnect, and I'll continue to invest in the platform as long as it's legal where I'm at and I'm able to, um, or you know, as long as everything continues to go well with the platform. I think it's fascinating. Algorithm trading is very fascinating. Um, I will go into master nodes. I'll continue to uh, do cloud mining at some point in the future. I may do some of my own algorithm trading personally with my own uh, trading bots that are uh, out there. There's several trading bots you can purchase. Um, I may at least do it with part of my portfolio. Why? Because even trading bots you can purchase, um, although they none of them do well in all market conditions, but when the market's going steady in one direction or the other, then you can make some tremendous returns with those um, with those trading bots as well. So. That's uh, the video for today. I wanted to go ahead and at least talk about this, talk about what's going on with USI Tech. What really concerns me is not that either one of these organizations are being targeted. Um, it's that what does the, the, the potential regulation, what does this mean for the rest of the cryptocurrency space? Uh, it's, a, it's a wild, wild world out there. So that's why we're potentially are going to be able to make a ton of money being early adopters. But it's also part of the risk we take in the process. You should not be investing in this space unless you understand that you can lose money. Um, and I have a plan long term. My plan is to also continue to diversify. I will eventually sell some of my crypto for dollars and I will use some of those dollars to buy things like gold and silver. Why? Because if this market tanks to $500, I hope to be buying $500 Bitcoin one day if it goes down that low. Um, and if it doesn't go that low, that's totally okay. I'll ride it all the way to the top to the 50,000. I, if I still had to bet for this year, I'm betting 50,000 Bitcoin by December. That's my bet. By the way, none of this is investment advice. Uh, these are just my opinions. And keep in mind, consider this satire if you want. Consider it entertainment. Um, maybe I'm absolutely crazy and off my rocker. Who knows? But I wanted to share this video with you. This is what's going on in crypto space. I do have a plan to do a video related specifically about mining, the profitability of mining, um, and I'll be talking about that in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, comment below if you've ever seen or if you have watched, if you're going to watch this uh, video here, Money as Debt. I believe that this is absolutely important to watch and to be aware of. So some of you I'm certain have seen it before. If you've never seen it before, go ahead and watch it. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you're going to watch this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.